Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the rumpled one. Have I got a surprise for some of you. Thanks to Airball, I have started to code some MT5 donational indicators. Um, my friend Airball, old trading buddy from over a decade ago, almost two decades, um, he uh, is now trading again, but he's on MT5. The broker he has doesn't support MT4. So he didn't really twist my arm because we're such good friends. So, um, you know, he was he, he hinted that he wanted my indicators on his system. So I went ahead and coded a few uh, indicators. Let me tell you something. It's not easy. They've changed so many things on MT5 from MT4. It's really a pain. But um, I, I've, I've got some of the bare bones things done. In fact, these screens are all MT5. Uh, so um, I converted the TRO my notes over to MT5. It's just... They just really made a mess as far as I'm concerned, and they should have supplied a converter um, so it would compile. It should have made it, you know, where you could compile your uh, MT4 code on the MT5 compiler. Why they didn't do that, I don't know. But anyway, um, so what I did was... I decided to convert over the TRO 2020 smart ranges indicator because it's a gauge and you can use it for so many of the different methods. Um, it just, to me, it, it just made sense because I was going to convert over TRO HL5. I thought that would be easy. Wrong. So, um, but this one I got going. So just remember, fellow traders, these videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. Trading is extremely risky. You can lose all of your money. If you need trading, investment, or financial advice, seek the advice of an accredited financial professional. So here we have the TRO Smart Ranges Indicator, six instances of it here. Um, Oh, I also did my objects delete all. I don't need that there. And I also, when I was trying to do TRO HL5, like I said, it was a pain. So I also wrote a little test lines indicator that will probably become the TRO HL5 MT5 version. Um, so just to let you know, this is simple here. It'll show the open, high, low, and close. You can tell it what time frame, what bar shift. You have the tag so you can load up multiple versions. Um, and you have some, you can change the colors, change the line styles, change the width. Nothing that big of a deal. So right now we're plotting the high, the median, the low of the previous candle, and the open of the current candle. So let's get on to the to the real indicator or the main indicator here the uh, tro smart ranges so you if you've been watching my videos you've seen the mt4 version mt5 version is pretty much the same we have different ranges high minus the low the normal range a high minus open high minus close close minus open close minus low open minus low High minus the previous high, the previous low minus the low, high minus the previous mid, and the previous mid minus the low. Um, you can specify what time frame, um, how many bars you want to use. Now, on the time frame here, over on MT4, I'm sorry, on MT5, you've got a bunch of different time frames you can use. Um, but I stick with what I know. And also, you have my test bar. So if you want to test 100 bars of data, um, my percent, um, which um, will actually, I think it should be a threshold. I might add that. But we really don't use that in this particular indicator. That's, you know, to be used down the road. So six instances. In this particular case, you change the indicator tag for each instance. And that way, the... Uh, 
computer doesn't get confused what you're talking about. Now, so H1 high minus low. Current range 20 pips. Previous range was 9. Current range is in the 44 percentile, meaning there's 44 percent of the last 100 bars had a range lower than this current range of 20. That's what this number means here. What does that mean? Well, it tells you, or how do you use it? It tells you that based on statistics, whether or not you can look for it to expand. So if you're at the 44 percentile, yeah, it'll probably go a little bit higher. Not a problem. But if you're at the 90 percentile, or like right here, we got high minus the previous high, 15, it's at the 80 percentile. You think it's going to get bigger? Well, based on statistics, you got about a 20 percent chance of that increasing. But you really don't know that it's 20 percent. It's not a probability. You're just saying that out of the last 100 bars, uh, high minus previous high, this one is bigger than 80 percent of them. So do you really want to take your chances or do you want to take your money off the table? So you use these high minus previous high and low and previous low minus low because you see you get the previous low minus the low. So if that number is positive, then you know that the low is lower. If it's negative, you know it didn't get lower. So, and just once again, to show you that here, I think that's the third one, Psh, low. You, want, you don't want to use the absolute value, so you turn that to false. Because, like, when you have close minus open, it could be um, negative or positive. But you might want to show the absolute value, or you might not want to, depending on what you're looking for. So... That's why you have that, and that's why I put that input in there for you. So right here, we're looking at, we looked at previous low minus the low. You see minus 5, it's above, but the high is at the 80. So the question is, will it get higher? It could. Do you want to chance it? Now, the same thing here, high minus open. See, that's why these are on the same level. It's at the 59 percentile. So... You have a chance here that maybe high minus the open does get bigger, even though the high minus previous high is telling you at the 80 percentile. But you see you've got the range for this hour is only at the 44. So you're saying, well, it could get higher because we've got room in the range. We've got room here. But even though we usually don't have that big of breakouts from the high minus the previous high. So you kind of have two out of three in your favor if you want to push it. And I also have the daily range here. So right now it's at 20 pips and it's at the lowest. There's been no ranges less than it in the last 100 days. So you know the range is going to expand. But if you're just looking to um, take um, breakouts of the previous high and low, and that's what this template set up to do is you want to take the uh, breakout but as you can see here um, the price gapped up because we're early in the day first out first trading hour and then of course high minus open open minus low if you're going the other way you want to see what that percentile is to see how far it's pushed so these um, ranges can be used for trading using the statistics. And as you work with it, you'll get more familiar. Now, the other one is, of course, um, that I don't have displayed here, is the um, high minus the close and the close minus the low. Those are for rat traders, but my friend Airball, um, he's not doing that, so that's why it's not on the chart. But um, what I'll do is maybe I'll pull, I'll make a second video and I'll show you how to use that, um, this indicator for 
uh, trading the rat. But so now how to get it? Well, you can make a donation to my PayPal account for $55 um, for the MT5. So 55 for the MT5 version. Um, I was thinking if anything, I should probably make it more because I really I'm really hating MT5 guys. Um, but like I said, I did it for my friend Airball. So I'm going to make it available to you. I don't eat. You guys know I don't sell indicators. I'm not in the business to sell indicators. I never, you know, I was, my whole goal was to put all the other guys out of business of selling indicators. I wanted to give this stuff away for free. But he said that, you know, there's so many people that diss on me um, that, you know, any if somebody's going to get my code, they should at least buy me a steak dinner. That was his, and so he was the first guy to donate 50 bucks. He says, yeah, here, go go have a nice steak dinner on me. So that's how this whole thing came about. For those of you who are new and don't know the story, um, that's how this whole donational thing came about. So, um, so like I said, for MT5, I don't like it. I'm not using it, but I will convert some of the indicators for my friend Airball. So if you have MT5 and you want to use them, then you can donate $55 to my PayPal account, um, the rumpled one, and that's how you do it. I'm not begging. I don't care if, if nobody wants them. It doesn't matter to me. It's, uh, you know, I'm just trying to help, help my friend Airball out with the MT5, so I'm making it available to anybody else out there in the MT5 world. So that's it. And remember, fellow traders, you know, doesn't matter what indicators you have on the sc screen because it's not what you trade it's how you trade it so go out there and drain the banks